In a world where humans and creatures coexist, there was a small town called Greenfield. In Greenfield, there was a school named Greenfield Elementary, where Josiah, an 11-year-old boy, attended. Josiah loved animals, especially mice. He had a pet mouse named Brian, and they were inseparable. One sunny morning, Josiah arrived at school to find a commotion near the entrance. The school's petting zoo had arrived, and a substitute teacher named Mr. Higgins was put in charge for the day. Josiah's excitement grew as he entered the playground, where the petting zoo was set up. As the students gathered around, Mr. Higgins introduced the animals one by one. There were goats, rabbits, ducks, and even a pony. Josiah couldn't contain his excitement and rushed to pet each animal. Brian, his mouse, watched from Josiah's pocket, eager to join the fun. Finally, it was time for Josiah to pet the animals. He carefully approached the goats, but they began nibbling on his clothes. Josiah laughed, thinking it was all part of the fun. However, the goats started chasing him around the petting zoo, causing chaos and laughter among the students. Just as Josiah thought things couldn't get any crazier, the rabbits escaped from their enclosure. They hopped around, knocking over buckets of food and scaring the ducks. The students laughed even harder, but Mr. Higgins looked worried. Realizing he needed to take control of the situation, Mr. Higgins used his wit and humor to gather the rabbits back into their enclosure. He told jokes and funny stories, making the rabbits curious and eager to listen. With a little bit of coaxing, Mr. Higgins managed to get all the rabbits back where they belonged. Feeling triumphant, Mr. Higgins turned his attention to the ducks. They were quacking loudly and flapping their wings, trying to escape their pen. Mr. Higgins knew he had to think quickly. He grabbed a loaf of bread from a nearby picnic table and tossed it into the pen. The ducks happily waddled over to feast on the bread, allowing Mr. Higgins to close the gate. With the goats, rabbits, and ducks back in order, Mr. Higgins turned his attention to the mischievous pony. The pony had managed to untie its lead and was galloping around the petting zoo, causing more chaos. Mr. Higgins decided to use his humor once again. He grabbed a large carrot and waved it in front of the pony, pretending to be a carrot himself. The pony, confused yet intrigued, trotted back to Mr. Higgins, allowing him to secure the lead once more. The students cheered as Mr. Higgins successfully tamed the petting zoo. Josiah couldn't help but feel proud of his substitute teacher. Brian, the mouse, squeaked with joy from Josiah's pocket, as if he understood the humor that saved the day. As the day came to an end, the students gathered around Mr. Higgins to thank him for the unforgettable experience. Josiah couldn't help but share his gratitude and admiration for the substitute teacher's quick thinking and sense of humor. Mr. Higgins smiled warmly and thanked Josiah for his kind words. That day, Josiah learned that sometimes, humor and wit can save the day, even when animals run wild. And as for Brian, the little mouse, he had a new hero in Mr. Higgins, the substitute teacher who turned a chaotic petting zoo into a hilarious adventure they would never forget.